I mean, I'd gone from being a psychiatrist to a black psychiatrist, actually to being a black female psychiatrist. My name is Chingwa Benoit. I'm a consultant forensic psychiatrist and clinical director for forensic and rehab services, Derbyshire Healthcare. October is my month for summer reflections. As we celebrate Black History Month, I cannot but reflect on the current living crisis in the country and the likely dis disproportionate impact it will have on black females. I mean, adversity uh, can bring out the best or worst in people. I recall as a child, my mother going through uh, very significant, challenging life circumstances. I watched her fall, I watched her stumble a lot of times and then, um, I kind of recall the words of, um, of Maya Angelou, where she says, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not, be, must not be defeated. I watched her navigate these challenges and emerge as a tower of strength for her children. It is interesting what young children imbibe, um, just watching their parents. And it made a lasting impression on me. In fact, it made me brave enough to um, to emigrate to the United Kingdom in, alone in my quest for knowledge. I mean, I'd gone from being a psychiatrist to a black psychiatrist, actually to being a black female psychiatrist. And I must say, it's quite a difficult place to be. I felt like I was always at the bottom of the pile, facing seemingly insurmountable systemic challenges around great disparity in pay and opportunities. Um, I felt I had to focus on service delivery and outcomes, never been in the room or at the forefront of change and innovation. I must say, I learned the value of um, allyship firsthand. And um, in my 22 years in psychiatry, I have met incredible absolutely incredible psychiatrists who have continued to challenge me to reach new heights. I mean, the tapestry of my life is so rich, but I want to mention a few generous and big hearted female psychiatrists who have not only influenced me, on, but on whose shoulders I stand and continue to stand as I navigate my journey and uh, find my my own little space um, in the world. Uh, they include um, uh, Buki Adeyemo, Lady Smear, Abby Fadibe, and um, Alta Stewart in the United States. These incredible women continue to shatter glass ceilings and inspire, well, continue to inspire generations to come, including myself. Talking about achievements, I must say I found this quite difficult to articulate. Um, I suppose my my opinion, greatest achievement would be pushing the envelope as a black female psychiatrist and creating my own opportunities, particularly where there are none. It brings to mind another Maya Angelou quote. I'm sure you can tell I'm a great admirer of her work. Sometimes I feel she puts eloquently into poetry, my thoughts. She said, do your best until you know better, then do better. I see myself as work in progress and uh, I hope, in fact, I aspire to be a shoulder others can stand on as they navigate their own journey. I'm proud to be a black female psychiatrist. I'm proud to be me. Chinway.